Bonjour. Hallo. Hola. Hi. What's going on YouTube? We're going to have a look at the balance changes. I've not been back in ages, but let's get straight into it and take a look at it all. Let's look at these balance changes, starting with Big Shot. And they're going to reduce the range of it by 22%, which is massive. So now you can actually place your unicorn and stuff like that in front of the keeper. And they can't just Big Shot it. Big Shot's ridiculously length, so this is a really good change. Moving on to Bouncing Bear. We've got a stamina decrease by 14%. And they're going to reduce the field time to 20 seconds from 23. Again, that's a big change to the bear. Very frustrating last season. One of my favourite changes, bull. It gets a stamina increase by 17%. Now you can't just sling anything into the bull while it's running at your keeper and it's going to die. Perfect. I love it. Camper Koala gets a... Small shot power decrease by 7%. That's all right. Oh, a big one here. Crazy Cat. Hit damage reduced by 20%. This has split the community, I think, because a lot of people wanted to see this happen. And then the cat users are thinking, Oh, no, my cat. Please don't nerf my cat. But it got nerfed, so deal with it. <laughs> Again, Croco sees a buff. It's chomp damage increased by 6%. And it's faster by 15%. Ooh. Let's see whether Croco can finally break into the scene. Energy pump decreased by 8%. Mass decreased by 8%. Field time decreased from 50... Oh, God, I skipped then. But fake ball next. <laughs> the field time has decreased by 6 seconds. It's all right. Fake ball has always been... Like one of the strongest cards in the game. It'll still be like that, but less frustrating for such a long period. Whoa. Friendly Seal. Field time's reduced from 13 seconds to 12 seconds. And its energy cost is reduced again. A few seasons ago, it was reduced from 4 to 3. Now from 3 to 2. Let's see whether Seal can finally break into the meta as well. I'm sure we'll be seeing people trying the Boom Rocket again and the Sticky Puffer combos. I'm nervous about that one, but <laughs> let's see. Frogger, Carry Force increased by 10%. Turn Speed increased by 20%. So overall, it's buffed a lot. It's not overly used, so I don't mind it. I do remember Froggy when it was completely OP. So, let's hope it's not that strong, <laughs> but, eh, we'll see, we'll see. Leeches, mass decreased by 17% and size decreased by 20%. So, it's going to be smaller and it's going to be able to push less. But it's still going to be doing the same damage, same field time, all that stuff. So, I think it's becoming fairer, to be honest. At the minute, it's like big shot with... Three little rats running about, sucking your blood. So, nice change. Mammoth. Field time decreased by 21 to 18. Its sling, sling distance decreased by 21%. But then the big bit, energy cross, decreased from 6 to 5. So, Mammoth is getting a big buff. And here's the one, here's the one everyone has, everyone's been complaining about. Mr. Fire. His energy increase is going up from 3 to 4. I don't know. I like it. I've seen a lot of complaints about this, but I, I like it. So many of the attack defenders are getting buffed and stuff like that. And Mr. Fire, they just, it cycles so good. It kills everything. Everyone's going, oh, but K2K, it's a skill card. Well, well now it's even more skillful because it costs more. So, good luck. <laughs> Mr. Mine, again. It's been nerfed. Sling damage reduced by 24%. I think that's fair. Mr. Mine is the number one in all categories in the game. So it is an overpowered unit. And I think it'll continue to get nerfed until it's fair. Um, hopefully this is the one. Reckless Hog. It's, it's decreased from 14 seconds to 12 seconds. 
and it takes a stamina decrease by 15%. Is this enough to stop the hog meta? I don't know. It's still going to be booming all the time and at max level it's going to be 16 and a half seconds. It's still, it's still a long period. Again, we're just going to have to wait and see with stuff like this. Stomperoo gets a small shot power decrease. And now onto Sly Fox. There's actually a secret buff in here that's not included. So it's dampening is decreased by 12%. For those who don't know what dampening is, it's friction, push. So it's going to, basically, if you can hit this thing, it's going to go boom, send, send it flying. It'll release the ball maybe, but it, it's going to be able to push it down the field quite easily. And it already was, so another 12% is big. But there is also a buff to the sling distance that's not included on the list. I found this out by talking to Craig, who's part of the Frogmine team, for those who don't mind. No, it's getting a sling distance increase by 2%, which is, it, it's small, but it, it's, a, it's a buff. It's a buff and it's going to be able to be slinged further. I think that's to compensate a bit for the Mr. Fire nerf, but, you know, that's a defensive card as well. So I think Sly Fox is going to be just fine. Who knows? And Turtle Spin Up, huge buff. Hit damage increased by 20%. Energy cost decreased from 3 to 2. But then it's only on the field for 3 seconds, so... E, I don't know. Let's, let's have a look at some of the comments. What are people saying about it? D.O.U. Gamer says, Maveloso. Very good. Atypical Black says... The most ridiculous update ever. You will lose players. GG, Frogmind. Boris Gamer says, These changes are good, except for the Mr. Fire one. Shiba needs a buff. And Seal 2 mana? LOL. <laughs> Silly Lover says, Developers are killing, are idiots killing the game. Okay, maybe. Everyone complained. Deathless Greek says, Everyone complained about the energy crack increase to Mr. Fire, yet you did it anyway. Don't be surprised at the consequences. Not quite sure what the consequences are, my friend. Maybe you can let us know. And then, obviously, I say, Bull, love, love. Excellent. I'm going to leave it there. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. Or Jeremy. Jeremy will get it. Subscribe. Bye-bye.